Hey friends, this is Raja. Uh, today we are going to see the user and group administration in AIX server. Basically, we need a user ID to log into a server. So without a user ID, user ID is like a key to a house. So without a user ID, you cannot log into a server. Each and every Unix operating system uh, got their own uh, default user IDs inbuilt in the server. Like when you install a server, it, it will come come up with some uh, user IDs inbuilt in the server. In that, we have a user ID that is called root. That is just that is even called as a super user or a system administrator user ID. So the the root user is the one uh, which got all the permissions, can do anything in your server, in your Unix operating system. So basically if you want to do something like uh, creating a user or changing a user setting or removing a user, you need to log in as root user and do all those activities. I mean you have to log in as root user and, and then only you can execute those commands. So right now I have logged in as root user. If I say ID, it will tell uh, what is my user ID and which group I belongs to. Group is nothing but a group of users used for a specific function. Okay. So this is my username root, and every user got one ID. It is like an employee ID in your company. So. It's a unique ID. By default, root uh, root's uh, UID is zero, and root belongs to a group called system, and the system's group ID is zero. Group ID is there for every group, like your user ID. And this is called my primary group. I mean the root's primary group. And these are called the secondary groups, or you can also call it as a group set. Okay, in AIX they call it as group set. In other Unix uh, flavors like Solaris and Linux, they call it as secondary groups. A user can belong to maximum of 32 groups, including primary and secondary groups. So he cannot become a member of 33rd group. Maximum allowed limit is only 32. Okay, so you have another command to find out as whom you logged in, who am I? It will tell you which user ID you used to log into the server. Okay, there is another command called who. It will give you a list of uh, users logged into your server. So, using the who command, you can find out who are all logged into the server and at what time they logged in. See, I have logged in at uh, July 31st at 1234 uh, as root user from my laptop. Laptop's host name is public PC. Okay, so now let us see how to create a users, how to create a user, and uh, what actually happens and what are the information you need to create a user. Okay, let's make this a scrap. For creating a user, you need to know user name, user ID. You don't need actually, you can just leave it blank. Okay. Then home directory by default it comes under slash home slash your name. Suppose if my username is uh, Raja, my home directory will be slash home slash Raja. What is the use of home directory? Home directory is the place where I keep my files it is like a, uh, what to say it's like a cubicle in an office I place my files my folders pens and everything in my cubicle and not in other cubicles like that I place all my scripts files you know does and everything in my home directory that is slash home slash data and uh, there is one more uh, uh, 
important thing for a user that is called shell. The shell is a program that runs, uh, what's how to say, it's, it acts as a bridge between the kernel and the user. So whatever, you need some interface, you know, to type the commands. So this is called a shell. So you see PES command, it shows KSH. KSH is a shell called con shell. So whatever command I type, this K shell, the con shell, you know, it uh, converts into the machine readable language and it presents to kernel. Kernel will, you know, it uses the device drivers to interact with the hardware. So you need to have a shell to interact with the system. Yeah, differentials like con shell is there, this is called bond shell, this is C shell. The default one in the AIX is con shell, okay. And uh, basically if you know all these things, this is enough and uh, you need to know about the group. There are a lot of groups available in the system. Basically for regular users, the default group name is staff. If you want, you can create a create a group for a specific function or for a specific department, and you can put all the users in that particular group. If you don't specify the group.